Hello everyone, welcome back to our weekly NeoVim plugin video. So this week we're going to be covering NeoDev, yet another plugin by our friend Folk. Thank you, Folk. Now, some of the features of NeoDev, NeoDev um, are that it allows you to generate help signatures and documentation for uh, Vim functions and NeoVim API functions. So things like, if you look here on the left in my terminal, like this Vim global are not picked up by the Lua language server right away because it's not configured to do so. But NeoDev, NeoDev automatically configures the Lua language server, sets the right paths, sets the right pointers so that you can get all of this signature help and auto completion and um, also uh, Vim functions, NeoVim API function documentation inside your code editor. So it's really nifty for those who want to develop NeoVim plugins themselves. All right, so in this video, we're gonna cover how to install NeoDev. We're gonna use the Lazy Plugin Manager to install it. We're gonna go over how to configure it. There's not a lot to, to configure. We're just gonna use the defaults. And uh, also, we're just gonna go over some quick usage commands um, and some helpful tips. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so here we are in the init.lua file. And uh, right away you'll notice that I have some diagnostics that appear, um, specifically on the Vim global here. If you hit square bracket D to go to the diagnostic, you'll be able to see that the diagnostics is undefined global Vim. You can also do telescope diagnostics to see all of the diagnostics in the workspace. So there's a lot of warnings here that the the variable vim is an undefined global. That's because the Lua language server doesn't really know about it. Um, it's not configured to do so. And that's where NeoDev dev comes in. So before we get started and talk about the installation, there are a couple of things that you need to know. And that's that um, NeoDev requires the nvim cmp nvim cmp plugin for completions. So I already have a video on how to install and configure nvim cmp. I'll link it up in the top right. If you don't have it already installed, I recommend going back to that video and installing nvim cmp. And also, um, not only that, but I also recommend having lsp config installed. Uh, I also have another video on lsp config. Um, and I'll also link it up here in the top right. So you need to have LSP config installed in order for this to work. Now, there's a third thing that you need, and that's the Lua language server itself. In order to install that, I use a plugin called Mason, which helps you manage different LSPs, linters, and formatters. So for in Mason, once you open it up, you should see this here, installed Lua language server, if that's what you're using to install it. You can also install it manually. There are other methods that you can use to install it, but this is the method that I prefer. I have a video on Mason and how to install and configure Mason. If you'd like to see it, I'll link it on the top right here as well. Okay, so now that we have the prerequisites, let's go ahead and dive in and talk about how to install uh, NeoDev. Okay, so uh, as I might have mentioned before, we're using the Lazy Plugin Manager in order to manage and install all of these plugins. And in my init.newit file, you can see here I have a line that says require lazy setup plugins lazy. And my lazy path is defined up here. So all, all this is setting here, saying here is that all of my plugin installation directives are going to be kept in a file called plugins lazy. So let's go ahead and open up telescope and type in plugins lazy, navigate over to that file. So you can see here, this is where I keep all of my plugins. Um, this, By the way, this code is available on my GitHub if you're interested in viewing it. Uh, there's a link to that in the description below. So shift G to go all the way down. I already have the line that you need to install NeoDev. So all I need to do here is uncomment that line. Do GCC, use the comment plugin to uncomment that real quick. And save and quit. Cool, let's open up our init.lua again. You can see here once we do that, uh, Lazy went ahead and installed NeoDev. Cool, so clear that, init.lua, 
reopen my init.lua here. And awesome. The workspace is initializing with Lua LS. And uh, you'll see now the Vim globals are no longer producing diagnostics, warning diagnostics. That's because now Lua LS is aware of these Vim globals. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about what you get with that. So there are a few things that I want to show here. The first one being that um, with NeoDev, you get documentation on uh, Vim APIs and NeoVim API functions. So it's pretty cool. If you hover over Vim, this global, and, um, and then hit Shift K, Shift K, uh, then documentation will appear on the properties of that global. Um, so that's pretty neat. And also, as you're typing, say you're developing a NeoVim plugin and you want to use this global Vim, uh, then auto completion will work. So you can go to FN. And then from FN, you can explore all of these Vim functions that are available, eval, uh, event handler, and so forth. And if you want documentation on these functions, you can just simply hit the arrow keys to go up and down, and documentation here will appear. So that's not only for Vim functions, but that also works for the NeoVim API. So if you go to API, dot, and you've got all of these NVim functions here, let's uh, do exec. Uh, you can see here that this function um, takes in a command, returns a string or unknown, and then so forth. And if there were documentation, like for exec2 here, executes a vim script, like anonymous here, you can see the documentation for that as well. So it's pretty neat because it kind of links together all of these paths and uh, and creates like a neo neo vim dev workspace for Lua language server. So if, you, if you're developing any kind of NeoVim plugins, then you definitely want to install this plugin here. I would say that it's a must. All right, guys, well, this is a short video. I will end it here. And uh, if you have any other suggestions for NeoVim plugins that you'd like for me, for me to cover, please make a comment down below. And we'll see you on the next one.